So ChichaBox just released an update, and good news for everybody like me who uses it, it fixed all of the issues that I've been having. Hey guys, what's going on? Michael here. So I am excited to share the fact that ChichaBox is now working for me. So ChichaBox just released this update, which is version 1.6.1, um, and it has fixed all of the major issues that I was dealing with while I was trying to use this program. So anybody that's a user of ChichaBox may be aware of a bug that was introduced in the last update where any midline support supports that contact the model in two different locations were not generating. It was an infuriating bug that there really wasn't a workaround because it wouldn't allow you to manually place those supports either. So I was forced for a long time to use ChitaBox to generate most of the supports and then finish up over in the Photons slicer program and generate all of the midline supports there. But they just weren't as good. So this update has fixed that issue. So you can see here I've imported a couple of 3D models. This was from a Kickstarter that I pledged uh, called uh, Amazons. And uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be generating some auto supports for these just to show you how nicely this program is working. So I'm just basically centering them up. I have the two models flipped so that they look a little different. That way I can print two of these and um, paint them up in different color schemes and make them look like two different miniatures. Now I'm not rotating these. I'm going to allow them to stand straight up and down because most of the miniature is viewed from the back and I don't want a lot of marks on that. And I'm just using the auto generation here to generate the supports. As you can see, there are quite a few midline supports on these, especially by not rotating them. But the auto generation did a remarkable job at generating these supports. I'll add a few manual supports, mostly on the bottom, just to make sure that my edges are clean and don't sag when I'm doing the print. But for the majority of this, I'm fairly happy with the way the auto support system now works with the new update. Now whenever you're generating or placing supports, you want to be looking for islands, areas that are totally unsupported that as your printer goes to print them, they would not be connected to the rest of the model. These areas will stick to your FEP film or they will just float off into your resin vat and cause you issues down the road. And it also means that your model won't look as good. Now that I'm happy with the supports, I'm going to export this as an STL file and then I'll open it up in the Photon software to actually slice this. I do that because my Photon S printer has the upgraded firmware which means that I have to save all files as PWS file format. Cheetahbox is not able to do that yet, so I have to still use two programs, but I don't have to use two programs to add the supports. Mm -hmm. 
With the STL file saved, I can now just open and drag and drop that into the Photons program. And then I can set the settings for the slice exactly the way I want it. So I typically use a layer thickness of 0.043, a normal exposure time of 7, an off time of 1, a bottom exposure of 40, and 9 bottom layers. The rest of the settings I won't adjust, I'll just leave them as they are. I'll save this sliced file directly onto the USB drive that I'm going to put in my printer. I've had issues with saving it onto the computer and then copying and pasting it over into that flash drive in the past, so I don't do that anymore. Once the slice is complete, it's never a bad idea to preview it and just make sure that you don't catch anything in the preview that you would have missed otherwise. And there you have it, our sliced 3D file for 3D printing start to finish. Cheetobox is up and running and it's making my life so much easier. If you're not using it or you stopped using it because of that error, it's good to know that they have fixed it and we can rely on that program again. Hey, if you like these videos and want to help me keep making them, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button.